Hey there, in this video we are going to learn about various tags used in PyScript. Three tags are used in PyScript. First one is py-script, then py-env, then py-repl. Let's learn about py-script tag. If you want to inject python code directly into an html page then py-script tag is used. For example here I am going to inject a python code. Let it be the syntax to print hi. Now let's load the html page. Yes we got hi over here. If you want to print the output in another tag also you can make use of PyScript tag. Let me show you. Here I am adding a div tag with id output and over here I am going to create a function. The function name is test then z is equal to maybe high function or return z. To write the result of this function test to this div the syntax we are using is pyscript.write within a parenthesis and within double quotes you can give the id of the destination tag on which you are going to display the result of this function over here the id is output so here also i am giving output then comma after that i am calling the function test now let's save this and load the web page. Yes, we got high function. This is how we run a script in PyScript tag and display the output in a different tag. In order to make sure that the output is displaying in this uh, div tag, we can add a style. Style is equal to color. Then we can give aqua. Let's load the page once more. Yes, the color got changed from black to aqua. Instead of running the script hard coded over here, if you want to run the code from an external Python file, then here you have to specify the source file. That is the file in which you have placed the Python script. Here I have created a .py python script file and I am going to print external file. I have placed the .py file over here. Since the .py file and the HTML file are in the same location, in the source location we can give the file name. Now let's try to load the web page. Here we could see that we got an error. The error is access to local files is not available when directly opening an HTML file. Here the PyScript environment is restricting access to local files when you directly open an HTML file. To tackle this we need to start a simple HTTP server in Python. For that we can open the terminal. Move to the location where you have placed the files. Here I have placed the files in desktop. Now let's start the server using the command python -m -http server then a port number. An HTTP server has started. Let's check whether we could access the files. For that let's type localhost colon then our port number that is 3000. Yes. We could see the desktop.ini file, then the python script underscore tutorial.html file, then our python script file. Now let's load the html file forward slash python tutorial.html. Yes, we got the output of the print statement that is external file. In PyScript, we can import python internal libraries directly within the PyScript tags. For that you can directly import the desired library. Here I am going to import date time. I am going to print today's date. 
date time dot date dot today let's reload the web page yes today's date got printed these are the ways by which we can make use of pi hyphen script tag within an html page